Hey everybody, this is Cameron Dye um, with Herbert here from Slow Twitch and I uh, just wanted to talk about paddles for a second. Um, I'm a swimmer by background and obviously people use paddles every day um, during swim practice and a lot of times you see triathletes pick up the biggest paddle they can find and use it for as much of the practice as they can stand. And aside from that being a great way to tear your shoulders off, um, it, it really doesn't do you all that much good. Um, so two things I want to talk about are one, in general, I would say triathletes have an issue with taking a paddle that's too big. Um, I mean, I have normal size hands, six one guy, and I use pretty much the smallest paddle you can buy. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's still a whole lot bigger than my hand. So I'm pulling a ton more water than I would with just my hand, and it allows me to work on my stroke with an emphasis on the power part of the stroke. Now, if you have big hands, you just slide the finger hole around so that they work for your hands. Um, and the other thing people do a lot is they change their stroke or they compensate for using their paddles. Um, unless you can find a race where you're allowed to race with paddles, there's only a small portion of your workout that you should do your paddles and treat them like a drill just like you would high knees or butt kicks when you're running. Use them you know, here and there, use them for what they're for and that's for working on power in your stroke and make sure you have the correct size paddle. Um, there's very, very few people with large enough hands to need a larger paddle than the small little green one. Um, and the other thing is take, your, take the wrist straps out. If you use them, they just compensate for your stroke and they don't allow you to have the correct hand and arm position in your stroke. Um, and if you don't use them, they're just dragging around. So pop them out. They look way more low profile. Um, so those are my couple tips on using paddles. Um, just make sure that you get paddles that fit, paddles you can actually move through the water, and uh, use them scarcely. Don't let them become a crutch for your swimming. But thanks.